Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm going to do something a little different, something I haven't done before. So I've got some tools here, uh, some equipment here to actually start polishing some stuff up. So we're going to give that a try. So let's quickly take a look at what we got here. So basically it's just a simple handheld uh, polisher people usually use for concrete, you know, for polishing concrete and a bunch of different grip pads here to get it down to a nice polish. So the idea here is I'm just gonna kind of sit over here and I got this little trash can, you could use a bucket or whatever. And hmm, might need to raise that up a bit more. That's a little low. But the idea is to take and use these rags to kind of hold one of these in place. And then I'm just gonna sit here and uh, slowly uh, grind it down to a polish. So I've, I've played around with it a little bit just so I've got the idea of kind of what I'm doing. But yeah, this is still going to be a bunch of learning. I'm going to learn how to uh, get these things polished. So this one almost looks like it's already polished. But uh, this is one that Eric did where he took and he uh, cut it. And then he kind of ground it down a little bit for me. But we do want to try and get all of these polished here. So what do we got here? We've got this one, which is from the uh, vi a video that... Huh. I'm not sure if I'll have published it by now or not. But this is my... my most recent excursion to the San Rafael Swell uh, with Eric the last time before coming here to Idaho, which is where we are now in Idaho. And this is some of the uh, Crandallite from the Clay Canyon area that was well known for its verisite that is no longer a place I can go to because uh, the uh, claim owner decided <laughs> nobody can go back there now. Uh, this is some of the Bertrandite that's an agate from the Drum Mountains. This is a Jasper, one of my subscribers sent me. And a Dugway Geode that I kind of cut into some slabs. So we're going to go ahead and try and polish all these. So this is what they look like before they get polished. All right, let's get at it. Okay, I've got it all hooked up. So I've got my first one here. I'm going to do some of the uh, Crandallite. And we'll just test this out. Get the water going. This is something to do during the summer because you're going to get wet if you, if you use this tool and do it like this. So the goal here is to use the, uh, the highest grit, the 50, on all of the pieces first try and get what try and smooth down the rough areas get it to where i can go to the next grit and then you just do all of them at once next grit next grit and all the way down until you get it to a nice polish and if you don't spend enough time or do it right on one of the grits at the end you're going to find out it's going to have little places that didn't quite get polished and you'll have to go back and do it again but So I've been grinding on this one for quite a while now with the, uh, the strongest grit that comes with these pads here. And it's still not getting rid of that line there from the, uh, the cut from the saw. This is good for me to see because now I understand why it's so important to have a blade that gets better, smoother cuts. So I've already started purchasing blades that are much better at getting smooth cuts and I'm definitely gonna do better with my cuts because yeah that could take some serious time especially when they're jaspers and agates like this so this jasper and agate I'm gonna have to hold off on this one and try and polish that at another time also I'm gonna wait on the geo because it also has bad stuff like that. Now the Bertrandite's much softer, so I'm hoping that will go a little better. And then this one's smooth and that one's already really smooth, so we'll continue with those. Okay, just there, I held it in my hand rather than had it sit there, and I was able to uh, do a lot better. Okay, I got all of them 
polished. I went through all the different grits and on each of the finer grits I spent more time and more time. That's what I understand. So this is my very first time. So I'll get these dried off and once they're all dried off we'll take a look and see how well I did with the polishing. I may have polished really well or there might be parts that weren't polished very well. I don't know. All right, let's take a look. Okay, let's see how we did. So first off, these ones that we decided not to do because these bigger, <laughs> these bad cuts from the saw. So we just, we're not doing these ones. We're holding those for later when I figure a better method. So it looks like I did okay. Like I can still see quite a few scratches in different places. So the Crandallite didn't quite do that great on. Let's see how this one did. Okay. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This is my first time, so. My first time, so I'm just hoping I did okay. Okay. Yeah, it seems that this Crandallite's a little bit tougher. And I think it's because you've got multiple things in it. You got the Crandallite that polishes up nicely, but they, then you got the the altered limestone it's in that isn't polishing up and stuff. So this one I did both sides of. Okay. Take a look at this one. This is a little bit of better Crandallite, but oof, did not polish this side over here very well. Okay, well, definitely gonna have to do this one over again. All right, let's take a look at the Bertrandite. Okay, I think I did pretty good with this one. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I did a decent job here. Okay, here's this Jasper polished up. Once again, I think I did a pretty decent job. I can see a few uh, scratches that didn't quite get, come out, but overall, pretty decent. And the last one, the Agate, I think I did a really good job here. You can barely see stuff that, that didn't quite polish up. This was really well done. That came out very nice. Okay. So I did a lot better with the agates and jasper than I did with the other stuff. And I did spend more time with these because I knew these were harder because it's quartz and quartz takes a bit to polish it. So I spent more time on them and you can tell I definitely got a better polish on them. And there you have it, my very first time polishing up any of the stuff I have using that nice little concrete polisher that Eric gave to me. Thank you so much, Eric, for giving that to me. That was an awfully thoughtful gift. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. My very first time trying it out. I can definitely see some uh, things I need to change to improve. And I know that this isn't the most ideal way to polish stuff. There are much better tools you can get, much better polishers that can really do a better job but this is what i have for now and it's my very first time so of course there's going to be uh, some learning happening and if you guys can give me some uh, feedback on your thoughts on uh, how i can do things better what what you would recommend maybe certain things you'd like to see polished um anything like that whether or not you thought this was a good video uh polishing up some of the stuff i have anyway Oh, and I did want to say, I know it's been a while since I've really responded to people's comments. It's just, I, you know, I went through an illness and we moved and I do want to get back into those though. So here in the near future, I want to get back to responding to comments, getting to, you know, hear from you guys and talk to you guys and spend some time. So anyway, until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.